is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with another 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the Elite Series 95 Jimmy Uso and Shotzi Blackheart figures. Very excited for both of these releases. We do have some questions on Jimmy because a lot of us think it's Jay, and, you know, we'll get into all those different things. We've already broken down on the channel multiple times, but I'm very, very excited for the Shotzi Blackheart. Probably the most anticipated women's figure in a long time. I think she's got a lot of great things going on. First time in the line figure for her. I've been waiting on Usos and Black joggers for years and apparently this is the year that i'm just getting all the things i've wanted usos in black joggers i get my black hat accessory with him i get my ruthless aggression era shelton benjamin i get more long pants hbks i mean it's just it's just it's brutal out here for my wallet nonetheless man here's the front viewing window of jimmy and shotzi i think both of them look excellent i'm really really excited for both of these you got their front views there you got their names first time in the line again for shotzi on the side you got the bookcase style for that, you know, if you're trying to create your library of elites. On the back, pretty sure that's Jey Uso. I think they put Jey Uso on the back of the Jimmy Uso packaging. They may have scanned Jey's face for this figure, but we'll get into that. You got Shotzi right there. If you'd like to read their bios, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave on the side, you got Jimmy and Shotzi there. Elite 95 at the top. True effects technology, absolutely. And we are done with their packaging, man. But if you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But let's crack Jimmy Uso and Shotzi Blackheart out of the packaging and find out what the hell they're all about. So here's Shotzi Blackheart and Jimmy Uso out of their packaging, and I gotta say, man, it feels so weird doing a Jimmy Uso review without Jay. I guess that's just, I know we did the same thing with Jay back in Elite Series 90 or 91, whatever series it was, but it's just weird. It's so weird to see this, and so uh, I definitely gotta get my other half of the Usos and the Black Joggers. I, again, I've been waiting on this moment for so long, bro. I have to get this done. I have to get both of them in Black Joggers. I have to dress them up in their accessories. I have been and just pleading for the day that I get Black Jogger Uso's, and now that I have it, I must complete the set, and we will do so for sure. But here are both figures spinning round around. It's kind of weird because they look like they kind of go together, you know, in some faction of some kind, you know? It kind of looks like they kind of go together with the dark clothes and stuff. I don't know. I feel like I can see it. Who can see it? I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, guys, let's dive into Jimmy Uso's accessories, and then Jimmy, and then we'll take a look at Shotzi Blackheart's accessories and Shotzi Blackheart. So getting into Jimmy Uso's accessories, man, starting out, I mean, you get a decent amount, right? I think, like, this is a pretty substantial amount of accessories if you're considering an elite figure, but we do have a look at the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Nothing too new going on, right? We've seen this multiple times. It's not gonna uh, shatter, the, shatter the earth, you know what I mean? It is it is what it is. We've seen it so many different times. I'm so sick of these damn tag titles, bro. I mean, it's time to move the hell on. Give me a Raw set and a SmackDown set that do not look the exact same. The penny belts were garbage. These are better, but still garbage. There's no damn way Jimmy Uso weighs 251. I just read it on the back of the packaging. There's no damn way that's true. Next up, we have the Uso's hat, which is so sick. I know this came in the battle pack, wasn't it? Was it the battle pack or it's a, a most recent battle pack or something like that, but this looks really, really good. Been waiting on this hat for years. I'm pretty sure this hat has existed for like six or seven years now, and we're finally getting it. Very cool indeed. I love the font. I've always liked the Uso's font. Does it fit the figure well? I think it fits on there well. It just doesn't look the best aesthetically. I think the best thing you can do is, you know, turn him backwards right here. I think backwards is the way to go, but, you know, I don't, I don't hate it. I think it gets the job done, and I'm just glad it's included. You know, maybe you can run those bangs through there. I'm not sure. Maybe you can get the bangs through the front of the hair, you know, or through the front of the little hole right there. I don't even know what that's called, and I wear hats all the damn time. I can't even tell you what that's called. My mind's gone blank, but you guys get the point. You do get two different necklace-style accessories. You get the gold chain, which looks good. Pretty sure this is the Hall of Fame Target exclusive Stone Cold Steve Austin necklace, just painted in metallic gold, or like a shimmery gold instead of a flat gold. Pretty nice there. And then we also have the lay accessory. I do believe this is the exact same mold we saw with Jay, if I'm not mistaken, but it's got the white roses and, and you know, the, like, floral stuff going on. That does exist. So you also get that with Jimmy. Then you get the pointer fingers. You got sort of the We The Ones hands, pointing hands, which look good, which did not come with Roman Reigns for some reason in the gauntlet hand. And then you also have Mike holding hands, which, of course, make the world go around. So excited to see these with Jimmy Uso. So getting into Jimmy Uso, man, starting out with the head sculpt, I like 
like this head sculpt. I just, de like, I don't know what the, the saga is between Jimmy and Jay. It definitely looks like Jay, okay? It definitely looks like Jay, but uh, I don't know. Mattel says that they did screw up. I don't know if this is a Jay head sculpt, a Jimmy head sculpt. It definitely looks like Jay, like I said, but you know what? Uh, you can always head swap. You can always put this on the Jay figure and then get a new Jimmy or something, but I'm just excited to finally have a Jimmy or Jay that isn't yelling. He isn't yelling. He isn't yelling. He isn't yelling. But I like the half red, half black right here. I like the beard. It's a good head sculpt. You know, it, it is. This hair is longer than I thought, dude. Like, was his hair that damn long when he went, like, with the mohawk like that? It's like a mohawk mullet. Like, was it supposed to, like, is it supposed to be that long? It just looks so long to me. But head sculpt is there. You do have the torso there with the tattoo deco. I do love the black sleeve. You got double jointed arms. You got all the tattoos going around. Very, very cool going down. I always love the Usos and Roman Reigns tattoos. I always thought they just looked so good. Their tattoos are very well done, so I always appreciate seeing their work. You got the black jogger. Same joggers mold we've seen before, but it is in black. Finally, thank Christ. You know, you get the zipper on there. Nice sculpts going all the way down. Then you do have the white shoes. I think I'm probably going to customize these, and we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I think I'm going to customize these. The same shoes we've seen before from the Elite 64 Usos all the way up to Elite 95. But he also has this, like, gold strip on the back, which I think isn't accurate. It says SummerSlam 2021, but I don't think that's accurate. It may be, but I, I want to say that the gold isn't right for that event, but we'll see anyways. Here is Jimmy slash Jay, and let's get into some figure comparisons. So here's our most recent Jay and our most recent Jimmy. I don't know why they didn't put them in matching gear. I really want to see them in black gear here, so I'm going to have to get another one of these, you know, and then switch the torsos, but I do like that we have the, the white sleeve and then a black sleeve. Like, I think that does go well. I think this shirt would look good over here, so that's another thing, but I don't know, man. I just don't know. I don't know where they were going there. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what the deal is there, but let's get into more figure comparisons as we bring in our Elite. It was 54. It was Elite 54 with the white joggers. Elite 64 was the red joggers, which we're looking at now, and these are still just so good, man. With all their accessories on them, they're just so damn good. So now we have white jogger Usos, black jogger Usos, and red jogger Usos, which is so sweet. I think they look awesome. I remember when we first saw the Elite 54 with the white and, you know, the, the updated heel look of the Usos. Everybody's freaking out. They're still kind of hard to get, to be honest with you, but it's really cool to see all these up next to each other. I, I love it. You know, I love Uso figures. I love the Usos. I think that ever since they switched their gimmicks away from the face paint and the bright colors to the more, like, menacing style, it, it was great. It was a great turn for them, and it really set them off on a new epic trail for their careers, but this is awesome. I'm really glad to have the Black Jogger version, and I can't wait to see more, but uh, before we get out of this version, I do want to see what Jimmy and Jay, the new versions, look like up next to the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns. So here is this. So if we could get Jimmy or Jay, if we could get them both in Black Joggers, then they'll all match, and then it'll be all well with the world, but the, I, I, I just love it. I know the MDT Pick Fed predicted the Bloodline heel faction and change of, of, of look for Roman way back in the day, and it was cool to see that come to fruition. So maybe WWE has good ideas sometimes when they listen to me. So getting into Shotzi Blackheart's accessories, man, we do have the helmet accessory. I can't help but think about what if we got the tank, right? And I know that we have the Marvel Legends build a figure. I don't know how well that's going to scale and all those different things, but the helmet does look really sweet. It also looks good on the figure. As you guys saw, you got the horns on there, nice color going on. It's not flat and just like no details whatsoever, which I really like. I don't know if that's supposed to be a logo or like some mud slash dirt, but it looks good on there. It looks nice. I got like the little wrap going around. Pretty nice. I like the accessory. I like the horns. Very cool. Very synonymous with Shotzi Blackheart. We also have interchangeable hands. Not a ton going on, but you do have your mic holding hands, and she does have her nail polish. No red details on the gloves, even though there are red details on the back of the packaging, but there is her mic holding hands, and then you have her rocker hands, or her, you know, rock and roll devil horns, whatever you want to call this. You have the, the horns hands, which is great because they have the black peg and the black nail polish, which look good. So, you know, that works for me, but these are a nice bowl. They're a good size, and I think they did a good job on these. You don't get a ton, but at least they are quality accessories. So getting into Shotzi Man, starting out the head sculpt, really good. I, I like this head sculpt a lot. I would have liked to seen, I guess, some some like eye makeup or something. I, I like the expression that we got here. You know, it's very fitting to Shotzi's character and stuff like that. I think my only thing is like, I, I feel like some of the likeness is a bit off. Like, I can tell that it's Shotzi. I just feel like maybe at certain angles, or it could just be because of the tongue out expression. I don't know exactly, but she is missing some face makeup and stuff like that as far as like, I'm talking about like her red, you know, eye makeup that goes down in the front or whatever it is, but still looks good, you know, tongue out, head sculpt, green hair looks really nice. I like the color of it and everything like that. She has a ton of tattoo detail, and 
she also has this choker on here, which is a really nice touch. I think that's awesome. Nice sculpt on the front here. I do believe all of this is newly tooled and sculpted, if I'm not mistaken. Like all this right here, you have all your buckles and strings and everything like that. Nice spider tattoo on her stomach. It's kind of weird because she doesn't have the tattoo on the back here, but maybe that's like more of a newer tattoo. She does have all these belts and whistles and all that stuff on here. Cheetah print. Got the lightning bolt designs. Even behind the hair, you got, you know, all this sculpted on here. Very cool on her arms, how they have like pretty much all of her tattoos, or at least, you know, from what I can see. Like, it's kind of wild because they even have the killer clowns from outer space, space gun right there. Tattoo, like, I don't even know if that's even like, you know what I'm saying? Like, is that even possible for them to do without getting in trouble? Got a chainsaw tattoo. I can't read it from here because I'm like on the thing in the editing software. I'll probably be able to read it. But another thing I noticed, is this a Pennywise it clown tattoo right there? Because that looks just like Pennywise's face in the balloon. And then she also has the like sandworm from Beetlejuice right here, I do believe, on her wrist. So they did a really damn good job, bro. Really, really good job at getting all of this in here. One thing I don't like though is how it's cut off right there. But you do have like the fishnets going over her shoulders, like her, her you know, how her t-shirt goes over the shoulder there. But tons and tons of tattoos, man. Really, really great job here on this. I love all the deco. It looks really good. Double jointed arms. Trying to make out like all the details as possible, but they did a really good job. It's it's freaking sick how they've done this. But she does have her black knee pads on here, which kind of hinder articulation, but she's got her black knee sleeves, her black boots. Very cool going down. And then she has ultimate edition boots, which I thought was insane. But this figure's sick, man. Really like one of the best women's figures this year, no doubt. Now, one thing I will say is like for some reason, the women's shoulders, it's a little bit better now, but like even with the Elite 94 Steph, remember like my shoulder got stuck? I feel like that's a pretty big issue with the women's shoulders for whatever reason. I'd like to see them improve that, but I guess it's gotten a little bit better here. It was stiff to begin with, but her articulation is really good. Again, I don't really like care for the knee pads. I'll probably take those off, but having the toe articulation like that is pretty insane, but this figure stands pretty well. Feels good in the hand. Just be careful with those shoulders, man. Hopefully y'all don't get stuck shoulders either. And since we don't have really a Shotzi Blackheart to compare it to, here is Bianca and Liv Morgan up next to the new Shotzi Blackheart, and then we also have a look at Ruby Soho or the Ruby Riot figure. Of course, we are going to get an unrivaled Ruby Soho coming soon. I think it's an unmatched Series 6, I do believe. So there is that. She looks good there. Nice tag team deal going on. Very tall Shotzi Blackheart. She's 5'6". I don't know how that compares to the rest of them, but uh, there's Bianca again. She fell over because she has basic feet for some stupid reason. But yeah, Shotzi looks good. She's just, God, I feel like her scale is just way different. At least at this angle, it looks very odd. In person, it doesn't look as bad, but on camera, it kind of is, um, I don't know, it makes her look really big for some reason. But I think that wraps up our WWE Elite Series 95 2-in-1 Shotzi Blackheart and Jimmy Uso review. Really enjoyed both figures. I think that I just need to adjust the Shotzi in some way. Really enjoy her figure. I think all the details are absolutely incredible. I can't wait to see what the new Ruby Riot or Ruby Soho figure looks like from AEW and Jazzwares and putting those up next to each other with all their tattoo work and all their different details. I think they look awesome. I think she's very toyetic. I love the head sculpt. I think that, they, that she has a lot of bells and whistles going on. I think I I am going to remove the knee pads. I feel like it kind of hinders it, and it's not going to bother me too much if she doesn't have knee pads on there. I love like the Ultimate Edition style boots. I think that her figure is fantastic. It really, really is, except for that shoulder deal. I don't know what's up with that. I think another detail that they could really do something with is if they, you know how like when somebody has a back tattoo and then you articulate them forward or whatever, and then you can see the tattoo continue on so you don't get that weird cutoff of no tattoo at all when they lean forward. Similar to what we saw with the Miro and rivaled figure similar to what we've seen with Roman Reigns in the past and different figures and you know tattoos on different guys. I think they should start doing that with the shoulders. Encapsulate the whole shoulder peg with tattoos and deco. That way when you articulate the arm and move the arm so you don't get that gap of space you actually get continuation with the tattoo and like it'll blend in a lot more and you don't get that ugly gap. That's just something that I think would do wonders for these figures but the Jimmy is also fantastic. I love it. Again I've been waiting on black pants or black jogger Usos for a very long time now and so this this, this makes me super happy. I cannot wait to create both Usos in that gear and then probably make updated Usos in the white gear as well because if I have to order an extra Jimmy and extra J, there you go. You might as well make two different versions of them there. And I think that would do wonders for everybody. But I like both figures a lot. I really, really do. I don't know where they'll end up in the ranking of this set, but I really enjoy them and I'm excited to have them. I like the accessories. Wish we got some cloth goods with Jimmy since we got cloth goods with J. But I guess if you're ordering two of those to make, you know, different guys in different gear, You'll automatically get two and so on and so forth with the hat with Jimmy and you didn't get a hat with Jay and all the good stuff but we'll, we'll see about all that man but that is going to wrap up the review before we get out of here let's get
get into our random shout out. And this shout out is going to go to Alfred King who says, yo MDT, the Young Bucks 2 pack is in stock. SDCC crushed my wallet, but I put my order in today, had to have it. And I actually ordered mine shortly after Comic-Con. As soon as it went in stock, I actually grabbed a set of those bucks. I'm sure that we'll probably review those. Like, this is what's insane, man. If you're watching this video right now, you watched it all the way through. First of all, I appreciate you. But the Supreme Edition Cody and Britt Baker figures are coming. And I hope that I get... I probably won't get mine today, unfortunately. I probably won't even get them on Sunday because the mail does not run. So I probably won't get them until Monday. And uh, I, my review probably won't be up till Tuesday, probably, of the Supreme Edition. So that does suck. But if not, maybe I could get... You know, I'm going to get up as soon as possible, man. So we'll have our Supreme Edition Cody review coming soon. So there's lots of stuff hitting, man. So much stuff hitting all at once. And I appreciate you guys coming back for all of the different reviews of all the different products. And I, I have to get them out because I want you guys to understand what you're getting with these figures. I want to get into other MDT programming and videos and stuff of that nature. But we've had so much stuff coming out that I have to review these figures, man. I hope you guys do enjoy them. But huge shout out to Alfred King. I did pick up Bucks, which we will also review. So we have Young Bucks probably coming tomorrow. We have Supreme Edition Cody, Supreme Edition Brit. I know the Ringside Exclusive JR is coming soon. Just so much ish is hitting and hitting and hitting. It's just ridiculous, man. Nonetheless, that wraps up this video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'm getting the hell out of here. Have a blessed one. You crossed the line.